Alright, welcome back. I don't know if you've seen the most recent video that I put out there talking about the rogue bowstrings. I'm showing you my setup, showing you shooting down range, me and my buddy, fellow staffers, for rogue bowstrings, right? Right, alright. Today, I want to talk to you. It's been out for. Uh, I might be getting this wrong. But uh, it might be out, might have been out for a few years now, maybe give or take. But uh, you know, I am a you know field staff for them, and I feel like I needed to really help get the word out there about this product. Uh, definitely innovative for the hunters today. Uh, there's a lot of hunters out there that have that target panic, right? You know, you draw, and you're on your animal, and you don't know which pen you use, you completely forgot, you didn't range that area or something, right? And you shoot, and you might hit it, but if you hit it, is it going to be a good shot? Is it going to be high? Is it going to be low? Are you just going to graze it? You know, it, it sucks having a wounded animal. It, it does. And it, you know, gets away and you can't find it. Terrible feeling, right? Well, I have this little product here. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that bow sight. Look at that. What do you think about that? It's pretty cool, huh? This is the EZV sight. It's what it's called. Check them out on Facebook. They got a web page. Um. This is actually one of their older models. Still works and functions just as well. Uh, it, you know what? It does pretty good. Uh, once you get tuned in, following the instructions, getting tuned in and everything, uh, once I got it tuned in and the correct V insert for my bow, I went to the range and I was shooting. And as I was shooting, I was hitting, you know, targets, you know, yeah, I was placing them at 20, 30, going to 40 yards, you know, whatever. I knew those, but the site has, I don't know if you can see it, let me bring it up closer. It has tick marks on them, right? Top ones, you're 20, 30, 40, 50, so forth, right? <clears throat> so... Apologize. Um, once you're dialed in, you know, and yeah, I was hitting 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, whatever, you know. It got to the point where I was like, hey, I looked over at my buddy, I told him, take that uh, 3D deer, move it around wherever you want, wherever you want, I don't care. It doesn't have to be exactly, it's going to be in betweens, move it wherever you want, I won't look, I won't range it nothing he did you know what I put it up there he come up you line the V up on the inside the inside V part with the last rib cage and the shoulders and then you let the arrow fly as soon as it lines up and it touches both sides you can let that arrow go and you're center punching every single time double lung I can't lie to you. Double lung every time. It works on quartering away and quartering two. Uh, it not only does it work on your large game deer, elk, moose, whatever, you know. You can use it on raccoons. You can use it on turkeys. You just frame up their body. You just frame it up, let it fly, and you're smacking them. Simple as that. There's, you don't need a range finder. You don't need a, like, oh, is that 25 or is that 30? You, you, know, you don't even need to do all that. It range finds for you because it is set to your specific bow and your bow speed 
at what you're shooting at. Whatever speed you're shooting at, you find the correct insert. And when you purchase it, when you purchase this product, right, it comes out with a printed out piece of paper and it's got pin sights. You take your original pin sight off your bow and you line it up, right? You line it up with the pins that are on that sheet of paper. And where your pins match and line up, that's going to be your insert. That's going to be your insert that is specifically set for your bow speed that you're shooting at. Once you got that, you could take it. It's an insert. You just pop. You just put, it just pops in. Pops in. It's got little grooves on the sides that it catches when you pop it in. And you can shoot with the tick marks looking at them. Or if you don't like looking at the tick marks no more and you gotten really comfortable with it and you know you're gonna it's kill shot, you could flip the sight around the insert and you can slide it in to where you just got the smooth surface what more can you ask for no range finder no target panic you just frame and shoot but if you want more information about this visit easyvsite.com check them out Go on Facebook, check out the Easy V site, check out their page, it has a link right to their uh, the website itself, check them out. Uh, the owner, Aaron Lasco, I hope I pronounced that correctly sir, apologize if I didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, great guy, great guy to have a conversation with, great guy to send messages with, very reasonable and he's willing to work with you. He's also all about his customers. He is there for his customers, and he's there to help get the product out and help those in need that have and can't conquer their target panic. Plus, you don't need a rangefinder. Hey, but my name is Kendall Colzell. I'm out. Before I go, like this video, comment, share it, get the word out, please. And then within this video, you will also find clips, little pictures of what I shot at, that I have my buddy position, and your center punching. But that is all for today. Stay tuned. I will have more videos. For now, goodbye.